One of the best parts about owning a Kindle is a seven day return policy that Amazon offers for all their eBooks. Say you buy a book and don't like it or you buy something by mistake, you can instantly return a book that you bought on your Kindle within seven days of purchasing it. In this short video, I'll be showing you step by step how to process a return for your Kindle book. Let's jump into it. Hi there, Wagner Jika Khalsa, Wagner Jiki Fateh. My name is Manith Bal Singh. On this channel, we talk about tech and getting things done. The first thing you have to know is you can't actually return the book on your Kindle. You have to have a computer or a phone where you can go to the Amazon website and return it from there. It sucks that you can't return books directly on the Kindle. That's one thing to keep in mind. Once you buy the book on the Kindle, the next step you have to do is go to the Amazon website, go to your order history, and you wanna to go to the digital order section. Once you're there, you'll see all the books that you've purchased on the Kindle in this order history section. Like I mentioned earlier, you have seven days to buy a Kindle book and return it. This is very, very helpful if you wanna buy a book that you aren't too sure about. You can try reading it and return it if it's not that good. So as long as you're within seven days, you'll see on the page over here, a return item button that comes up next to the order. When you press on that, you can instantly return the book that you bought for a full refund. It does ask you to choose why you're returning it and you can really just pick whatever you want over here. I usually pick wrong item or not wanted anymore or something like that. It doesn't really matter what you pick. I don't know if there's a limit to how many times you can do this, but I've returned books several times now. It hasn't been an issue. I'm sure if you do it back to back to back, they'll catch on and they may stop you from doing that. So just keep that in mind. Once you choose the reasoning over here, I'm just gonna press the submit button. And just like that, it'll process my return. It's gonna take a few days for the money to come back onto my account. It is a refund to the original payment method. It's not like a gift card or anything like that. So that's really nice too. Once you process that return, it'll completely delete the book from your Kindle library. So if there are any notes that you want to save, make sure you have those saved somewhere else. It will delete the book from your Kindle and any other device that you have the book saved on. If you found this tip useful, check out my other video walking through 15 other Kindle tips. I go through so many other unknown features of the Kindle. I really think that you'll enjoy that if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.